Hey, this is Kat. After the uh, presidential election, and uh, like most of you, are probably in a little bit of shock. I, well, I've been crying all day, but a lot of my friends are very upset. Uh, we're confused on uh, the votes. You know, it turns out that a lot of white women voted for Trump. Now, I don't have the uh, numbers in front of me, but I assume that a lot of them are older, not in the like childbearing years per se. I could be wrong. But my issue with that is, why do they vote for him? And understanding why they voted for them, him um, will help us learn a lot about what's going on in our country. If you vote for Trump, what you're voting for is reproductive rights being challenged. Um, if you're raped um, or for some reason you don't want to have a child and you become pregnant, your rights of having um, an abortion if you need one or having access to Planned Parenthood could be jeopardized. Um, I really don't understand how he got elected in the sense of all the issues everything he said, everything he did. Um, he didn't pay his taxes, he laughed about it. Um, he didn't serve in the army or the military, or whatever you wanna call it. He, uh, he laughed at John McCain, uh, Senator John McCain, because he got captured. He made fun of a, a military uh, gold star family. He grabbed women by the pussy out of his own mouth. He watched people young ladies get dressed in his beauty pageants that he owned. His ties are made in China, and he's talking about bringing jobs back to America. His interesting relationship with his daughter, Ivanka, a man who's been married three times with uh, three baby mamas and lots of kids, and he doesn't believe that fathers should um, change diapers. I mean, these are things out of his own mouth. So I'm just trying to understand, like, what kind of people think that's someone who should represent our country. Uh, I don't get it. So a lot of us are confused. But uh, the world's run by madmen and the women that allow it. And for those women that voted for Trump, of all races and, and, you know, religions, why? And I, one of the things that pops in my head is, it's like Stockholm Syndrome. Like, you'd rather have a man who's on tape saying that he grabs women, he forcibly kisses him, them, you'd rather have him in power than somebody else. I don't care if you voted for Clinton or the independent candidates, you chose Trump because you wanted a strong leader, but you voted against your own interests. I don't understand that. Maybe you can help me understand that, you know? But sexual assault is not funny. Being harassed by your employer is not wanted. Uh, not be able to have proper health care is not cool. Being harassed on your job because you're a female is not something that anybody wants. I don't know, there's like a thousand things that just don't sit right with me with this whole Trump thing. If anything happens to Trump, you know, Pence takes over and he's very, very conservative, so you need to check his background. But it just seems like fear won and Trump tapped into that. People were afraid of losing their guns under Hillary. They believe that Trump is gonna bring jobs back to America but yet he's hired uh, illegal immigrants like Polish workers to work on the Trump Tower for low wages.
But that doesn't seem to matter to the people that voted for him. Discriminated against blacks in the 70s with housing, but that doesn't seem to matter. He's a man who won by trickery, lying, and hypnotism, repeating the same words over and over again in a sing-song uh, nursery rhyme tone. And people fell for it. They wanted it. They think he's great. So a person who cheats on his taxes, doesn't show his tax return, threatens the president saying he uh, wasn't born in America, harasses his opponent, um, sues people all the time who don't do what he thinks they should do, or they say the wrong things, harasses uh, journalists, that's your president. I don't know if you know the definition of a dictator and the difference between um, a president. But we're gonna find out, aren't we? But the other thing is, is like, what can we do now? What can we do now? I think all of us need to decompress what happened. I think we need to talk about what happened, our, our pain, our anguish, um, our embarrassment. Um, we need to reach out to people all over America and find out why they think they're so much different than we are. Um, I think there might have been some snobbery with uh, the people who who made fun of Trump. They thought, you know, who could be that stupid to vote for him? And I think maybe that was a major issue. Not making fun of people, but finding out what what their issues are and listening to them and respecting their opinion and seeing if there's common ground. I'm not a, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. I'm a person that's for justice for all. And I want the betterment of our country and the world. And by the way, the people who don't believe in climate change, it's 90 degrees today in Beverly Hills. So Trump and his camp doesn't believe in the climate changing with all the cars and all the oil and all the gas and all the, the money that's made. I don't believe in that. So the fight's not over. Democracy is something that is a tree, is a living tree. You have to take care of it, you have to prune it. And this is a wake-up call. So if you're upset about the situation, you need to get involved in government, you need to get involved with protecting Planned Parenthood. We might have to support Planned Parenthood out of our own pocket because the government might shut it down, especially with the guys running on the show right now. The other sad thing is, it seems to be indicative of the situation. It reminds me of like the 60s when uh, the civil rights movement was happening and we were getting inroads. There was a pushback. They gave us uh, superficial rights, but the power and the access to money and certain jobs and certain loans were still um, held back. Equal opportunity really was nice on paper, but it didn't actually exist. But the rage of, a, I think, a certain segment of our society, white America, has held on to that anger and that resentment, and it came out loudly with the, this election. I mean, two newspapers in America endorsed Trump. One was the KKK. I mean, that's mind-boggling. But yeah, I don't think it's, it's all right to be sad. I think we're going through the stages of grief right now and we're gonna get through this, but you, you can't just sit on your, your ass. And if you're a victim of uh, harassment, um, sexual abuse, assault, another crime I implore you to come forward it's not gonna be easy believe me I know I'm a victim of a violent crime that I've been waiting two years to go to court but because the person killed somebody else my trial goes after that trial repeat offenders keep getting let out of prison or jail or they have sympathetic judges that don't take their cases seriously like the man that was found with a woman in a uh, storage unit in the woods, chained like a dog. He's a repeat sexual offender. Why is he out? 
why isn't he monitored? Why doesn't he have uh, a probation officer checking out everything he does? We keep letting bad people out of prison. That has to stop. We keep allowing people to assault us sexually or physically or emotionally. That has to stop. We have to stop being victims. So I implore all of you, if someone is abusing you, come forward because you could stop someone else being hurt and you could stop possibly a future president. Think about that. That's as real and as serious as it can get. And these women that voted for Trump, I swear to God, they have Stockholm Syndrome because they voted for him anyway. They must have had a father, an uncle, a boss, or somebody else that harassed them, uh, a priest, a rabbi. They think this is normal, and it's not. It's not acceptable. So us women have to stand up and there's men that are sexually abused too or uh harass you got to stand up so this isn't over we're gonna rise we're gonna get better but we're all in shock with the nightmare so again this is cat of cattails tv thanks for listening make a change in yourself And that will reverberate in the world. Thanks. Bye.